Well, this grand old buffalo structure was saved from the wrecking ball by the late Mark Croce. And now, since his passing, developer Douglas Jamal has carried on the vision to restore it with a $100 million renovation. And work continues on the iconic Statler Hotel. But according to new plans filed with the city of Buffalo, a few things are changing. Yeah, tonight, Channel 2's Ron Plant says the inside story from a local real estate analyst. To remain about as original as possible. These a year ago, Channel 2's Michael Wooten gave us a visual tour of the Statler project and explained how hotel rooms would be blended in with apartment space. But now the amended design plan going before the City of Buffalo Planning Board revises that floor plan, despite small spaces, adding in many more apartments to create a total of 548 such units on the 4th through 18th floors. Real estate analyst Jim Finks, as he spoke with Jamal on Tuesday. What Douglas is talking about doing is taking some of those smaller rooms, making them almost studio uh, type of apartments. And there is, believe it or not, a market for smaller studio apartments. As I said, someone fresh out of college, they might, you know, do a thousand for uh, a studio. Finks says more expensive market rate one, two, and three bedroom units would also be sprinkled in, especially on the upper floors. I've been uh, from the roof all the way down. Oh my God, what's it like way up there? Uh, get a great view of Buffalo. <laughs> I mean, if I was an apartment dweller, I'd want to be like on the 17th or 18th floor because the view is like knock your socks off. The rooms are kind of funky. They have neat little uh, appointments. Um, they give them character. It's not cookie cutter in the inside, not by any stretch of any imagination. Fink says the new plan may still allow space for hotel rooms eventually, but they are a lower priority, including maybe a little office space and lower floor areas for limited event, restaurant, and perhaps retail use. Then a much smaller underground parking garage with an external parking ramp idea pushed back for now. You're right on the bus line. You're two blocks from the subway, um, the Metro Rail. I mean, there are transportation options for you if you don't have a car. Now, the City Planning Board will discuss these plans on July 3rd. Fink says Doug Jamal wants the Statler's rental units open by the summer of 2025, with perhaps a preliminary opening event later this year. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.